what does favorable finding mean? So back when Congress and the VSOs and um, VA and everybody was meeting to try to uh, reform the appeal process, some genius came up with the idea that that the VA needed to tell you, even if they denied you, what was the good or positive or favorable parts of your the claim you put in. Those things are supposed to, favorable findings are supposed to be sticky. They're supposed to stick with the claim once they're made, and they can only be overturned according to the manual, the procedure manual, VA's procedure manual, by clear and unmistakable error. I don't think the, the VA at the agency level abides by that too much. I see them overturning favorable findings way too much with little evidence, and so they're not as sticky as they should be. Um, but um, they're supposed to be um, parts of your claim that are carried over from claim to claim that are positive for, for you. I hope I'm explaining this well, that things that, um, let's say you submitted a claim, but you didn't have a current diagnosis, but you had a event in service, you had migraines in service, you had a nexus letter, um, but nobody gave a clear di current diagnosis. So the favorable findings might say something like there's a nexus between service. Well, she has a nexus that relates to service. She has an injury, uh, an event in service, but there, it, and that's all it would say. And then in the narrative part, it would say you don't have a current si diagnosis, so we can't grant it. Um, did I miss something over there? No, that, that's what I understand. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much positive things in your claim that are supposed to carry over and benefit you in the long run.